Hi, welcome to Yobi's home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about how the experience of going to the movies in the Netherlands is different than the experience of going to the movies in the United States. So if that sounds good to you, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Hey guys, um, welcome to this video. Before we get into it, I do want to share that I feel like I've become quite Dutch because the biggest difference between going to the movies in the States and in the Netherlands is one that I didn't even mention in this video. And that is that movies here are presented in their original language and then there's just a translation into Dutch on the bottom. Um, so how wonderful it is for me as an English speaker to be able to go and watch a movie completely in English um, and not with some kind of voiceover. But I don't mention that in this video, but I do know about it. And before you guys go nuts in the comments that I totally missed this huge thing, I do realize that that happens. So thank you so much. And now let's get to the movie. No, now let's get to the video. All right, you guys. So I recently went to the movies with my family and I love going to the movies. That's one thing that I miss quite a lot since having kids, you know, going to the movies with my husband, that's, we need to get a babysitter and it's just become a different, a different thing, but I really love it. So now that our son is five years old and he's old enough, we, you know, took him to the movie theater and I was so excited, but then I was inspired to make this video because the experience is quite different. Well, quite the experience is different than going to the movies in the States. So one thing I want to ask you guys is let me know in the comments if you've gone to the movies in any other country. Um, but in particular, if you've gone to the movies in the States, let me know what you think about the things that I'm going to say here. Where did you enjoy it more? Did you find that one thing was adding to the experience or, you know, just let me know what you thought. Sorry. I know your guys are going to be upset that I'm messing with my hair. It's newly short. I'm getting used to it. Okay. It's, it's new. So one of the thing, last thing I'm sitting in a different spot because I want to spotlight these gorgeous flowers. I was filming a holiday themed video recently and I wanted some holiday kind of colored flowers and can we just, can we just, ex can we just like admire their beauty for a second? <laughs> Cause they're really lovely. So, okay, that's it. Let's just hop on in. Okay. So the first thing that struck me right in the nose is that in the Netherlands, there is no hot popcorn in the theaters. Now there are pop, there is popcorn. You can definitely buy popcorn and it's kind of cool because there's a sweet version or a salty version. So you can choose or you can mix them. I enjoy that quite a bit, but oh man, going to the movies in the United States and just entering in the front door, just the smell of this like hot, buttery, popcorn. Oof. It just totally just gets me in the mood for the movies. It, like my brain is immediately triggered. Like, yes, we're at the movies. I don't know of many other places. I mean, if you're watching and you're from the States and you know other places that like sell like the movie theater smelling popcorn, um, let me know below. Cause I can't think of any right now. Um, but I love that about the, you know, and then it's just like, hot because it's just been popped from these like giant machines there there is nothing like it to me so while i do miss the smell of the popcorn i don't miss popcorn because i can buy that here and actually i do like the ability to have like the mix of salty and sweet popcorn in one uh container it's also significantly smaller but that's a whole other point <laughs> you know you don't have the the ginormous uh, servings that you get in the States, but that's okay. You just get, it's enough. It's enough. Shall we move on? Moving on. So the next thing that I found really um, kind of surprising about going to the movies in the Netherlands, and this might also be in other theaters in Europe. I haven't been. So if I'm talking about something like, oh, we have that in Spain or France or Belgium or whatever, 
let me know below but i was surprised to find that you could buy alcoholic drinks at the movies so like you can definitely buy a bottle or two of beer um i think i've seen wine correct me if i'm wrong but i do think you can get like a small bottle of wine or a small like a bottle of beer um and that's interesting to me because yeah i mean as an adult maybe you want to what you know drink beer while you watch your movie and that totally makes sense and i love that you can do that um here in the states that doesn't exist you cannot uh drink alcoholic drinks they don't sell them it's just like not even that's just not even an option so i found that quite surprising when i moved here the next thing that i want to talk about is something that did not exist at the time that i was living in the united states it might exist now correct me if it does but at the time 11 years ago when i was living in the states this was not an option but when we moved to the netherlands um there is at least in the big chain of movie theaters called pate pate yeah um they have what's called like a pate unlimited card and it was something like 19 or 20 euros a month and you could go to as many movies as you want with this card and i just thought that was so cool that you have these unlimited movie cards and at the time that my husband and i moved here we were really poor <laughs> um you know we didn't have much money and we couldn't afford to do much stuff and so we both enjoyed going to the movies quite a bit so we decided let's each get one of these cards and then i remember every weekend like on a friday night and then also on a saturday we would go to a movie and that was just such a lovely thing for us to do um we definitely got a really good use out of our cards and then we ended up giving those up when we had children because obviously we're not going to the movies as much or at all <laughs> but um yeah i think that's a really cool thing that you have here in the Netherlands, this ability to have this, you know, movie unlimited movie card, and you can go and watch in the theater if that's your thing. Um, of course, you can watch movies at home. You can Netflix and chill. You can do what you can do all that stuff. But for me, there's just something about going to the theater, seeing it on this ginormous screen, sharing the experience with other people. It's not the same as watching it at home. So I really enjoy that. And so yeah, having a card like this, um, that was like a fixed price each month. And then we had an unlimited amount of times that we could go to the movies. I found that to be awesome. Just so much, such a good deal and so much fun. So that surprised me that that was something that exists here. What do you guys think? Did, does that exist in other countries too? Or is that maybe just a Dutch thing? I don't know, let me know. Number four, the fourth thing that surprised me about movies here is the candy aisle. I mean, let me let me set this up for you. So in the United States, of course, you have popcorn, you have candy, you have all that concession stuff, fine. But that's like, you know, you just buy packages like you would buy at the supermarket or, you know, things that you would see. They were not anything really super special. But in Dutch movie theaters, you have like like a candy aisle i mean here we'll insert some pictures dan the editing man can you please help us out and insert some pictures of these candy things and you you know you open it up you take a scoop you whatever you like they have different kinds and then you can you know have one of each flavor or a scoop of each flavor or whatever and you fill up your own little plastic cone with all these candies and treats that you would like to have and then you take it to the cashier and they weigh it and then you pay for the amount of grams that you've purchased so i think that's really cool because in the states if you wanted i don't know gummy bears and uh i don't know gummy bears and um jelly beans okay let's see <laughs> If you wanted gummy bears and jelly beans in the United States, you would need to buy an entire package of gummy bears and an entire package of jelly beans, and then you can have those. But in the, here in the Netherlands, you can have, I don't know, four or five gummy bears and then four or five jelly beans, and then that's it. And you pay for how much you take, how much you're gonna consume, and then you eat that and then that's it. So I find that really nice for being able to treat yourself you know, to something Maybe if you're, not that you're watching your weight, but for me, um, 
As an aside, I'm really concerned about developing diabetes because I had it with both of my pregnancies. So I'm trying to be careful about how much sugar I eat. Um, and then going to the movies in the Netherlands allows me to have, you know, like a couple treats. Out of this giant bag, I fill it up like this much, just a few little bites, and then I can enjoy it. And, you know, it's really nice. So that was a surprise, a really positive one, and something that I enjoy doing here. Now when I go to the States, if I go to the movies, it's really hard to resist. It's very difficult for me to resist the big, you know, packages of different things. And, you know, when you have a bigger package, at least me, I don't know if you like me, raise your hand down in the comments below, let me know. But if I have, you know, an entire bag of something, I want to eat it. My self-control is very low, especially when I'm in the movies and I'm watching and I'm transfixed by something and then I'm just like, yeah, yeah, you know? And so it's hard, but here in the Netherlands, I can just get what I want and then it's easier to have self-control. So I really appreciate that. Now we have come to the fifth thing, which is also the last thing that I will be talking about today in this video, which was something that I found surprising and actually something that I don't love. And that is that when you go to the movies in the Netherlands, it is assigned seating pretty much for every movie. So I'm the kind of person that I like to go to the theater. I like to see where people are sitting, how it's looking. I wear glasses, so I don't want to be way in the back. I don't want to be way in the front. You know, we all have our preferences and our choices. I'm sure if I asked you, where do you like to sit in the theater? You would also have a spot that you like to sit. Let me know below if you want to. Um, but yeah, like having the assigned seating, which is a decision that I need to make when I purchase the tickets, I don't like that too much. Um, also because if you buy your tickets kind of, they have like little freestanding um, ticket machines and you can buy it yourself. And there you will see kind of like what seats are taken. You can make a decision. But if you're gonna buy your tickets at the actual counter where you're gonna buy also candy and things like that, um, I don't know where all the people are sitting. <laughs> and so it's hard for me to make a decision. Also, I don't wanna be stuck behind, I'm a very short person, so I don't wanna be stuck behind a very tall Dutch person. And that's not something that I can choose. In the States, if somebody comes and sits in front of you and you can't see or you don't, you know, there's an issue with where you're sitting, you just pick up and you move and it's not a big deal. Um, but here, you don't know if you're moving into somebody else's assigned seat or if there's going to be issues. So that was a bit of a downer for me. I'm not a fan. I would really like to be able to just choose where I sit. Um, but that was, you know, it is what it is. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up please click subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned, I'm gonna give you one bonus for free. A little freebie bonus. How's that? Six, okay? So the sixth thing, and this is actually more of a practical tip as opposed to something that surprises me, um, at least in The Hague, but I would definitely inquire in your own theater wherever you're going, um, but at least in The Hague, the movie theaters, they have discounted parking tickets so if you if you park your car in the hague it is crazy expensive it is mind-bogglingly mind-numbingly expensive to park your car in the city center however at the movie theater um if you go there they do have some special discounted cards where they'll ask you do you want the three hour ticket or do you want the five hour ticket and you know in my case now i paid 10 euro for a five hour ticket the last time we were there which effectively meant that i was paying two euro an hour for my parking whereas in the parking garage it's eight euro an hour to park your car so the fact that we got this incredible discount on our parking because we were at the movies was great so this is a tip for you if you are going to the theater maybe you're driving your car just know, maybe ask, do they have discounted parking tickets? Because that's really, really great. You guys, that's it. Those are my five kind of things that surprised me or that were different about the movie going experience in the Netherlands versus the United States. I would love to hear your thoughts. 
let me know in the comments below. I've asked you loads of questions. I'm really curious how you guys interpret this or how you um, experience it. Do you like going to the movies? Are you still going to the movies at all? Or are you just Netflix and chilling at home? Let me know. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm really grateful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.